Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the bi weekly contest 126. Find the sum of the power of all subsequences. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, this one, well, first thing you have to notice is mod, so I always sing the mod song, as you know. Um, this one is just, I mean, look at the constraints, and I, I felt dynamic programming right away, but I just couldn't figure out how to quite do it, to be honest. Um, and this is one of those problems that if you look at the solution, and I'll show you the so solution right now, it's kind of hard to understand um, without kind of the idea and the intuition and whatever else that I did. But yeah, but I saw this and immediately I was like, well, maybe not immediately, it took me a minute. I was like, this doesn't mean anything because we only want to sum up to K. So, you know, like if this is too big, it doesn't matter, right? So we can just ignore this part for the most part. So you have N and K. And then I was like, okay. And this is my state. I was like, okay, maybe I could do it index and total. But to be honest, I was like, I was feeling like I was missing an in index or like I was missing a dimension um, to make it like N times Q times N or something like this. But it turns out I didn't need it. Uh, this is the solution. Um, so I'm going to an annotate this as we go over it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously you should have a relatively strong dynamic programming background, but maybe like a relatively strong, I mean, it's okay. I think this is probably like a, a easier hard problem, but it's just harder to kind of like see this and I don't know. But yeah, but the, the way that I think about this is that now that we have this, we have it, um, its enumeration, right? Or um, exhaustion uh, of basically all the cases. And what are my cases here? So I kind of wrote it this way in a funky way, but you could actually spread that out uh, to two things, right? And then also I've almost forgot the mod to be honest. So I was like very happy that I did not forget the mod. But yeah, but basically the idea is just enumerate everything and then this is just, um, okay. So there are kind of four possibilities, right? Uh, one is, um, so, I, so here, right, if you look at stuff like this, there are four possibilities for each state, which is, uh, this nums index is in the subsequence. We want to count in the subsequence, or is it sub subsequence? Uh, the the two layer of subsequence is confusing, right? But yeah, it is in the sub subsequence, and we want to use it, right? So basically, and you know, you know my notation. I always say tech is what I call it. But basically, it is in the sub subsequence, and we want to use it. So therefore, we add, the, you know, we use it by using one index, and then we just um, uh, we just add it to the sum, right? And then the other thing is, nums index is in the subsequence, and we do not want. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, 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 not yet, right? And then the, there are another case, right? There is another case, which is that nums index is not in the subsequence. And we, well, we can't use it, right? And in this case, we just, you know, we don't change the total because we can't use it. So we just go to the next number. And then this one, you know, they, they are exactly the same and that's why we do it, but it's in the subsequence and we, do not use it, right? So basically, this is in the subsequence, but we don't use it. So these are two identical things, but I, you know, but if you enumerate why you have two identical things, this is why. And then there's the empty. You could write maybe this way, which is nums index is not in the subsequence. Oh, sorry, it's not in the subsequence and we use it. Well, this is just not possible, right? So that's why we just can't see because you can't use it if it's not in the subsequence. So th those are kind of four like possibilities, right? And that's pretty much it if you kind of just sum this all up. Um, yeah, so what's the complexity here? Index is going to go from zero to N, total is zero to K, um, which to be honest, K should be less than N because each of the, the each of the N's have at most at least one. Oh, wait. So maybe I'm, no, I'm, I'm wrong. But either way, there are hundreds. Uh, I think N, K is, or N is less than K. 
That's what I mean. I, I meant it the other way. Wait, is that even true? No, never mind. I, skip what I said the last 20 seconds. They're independent. Hmm. But yeah, and because we do four, four recursions on this, this is going to be O of n times k time and space, right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one for the memorization. Um, you can also, uh, one thing that I do want to check, and this is live, I, I just forgot about it, uh, but I do want to check real quick, uh, to be honest. Uh, okay, I just want to check the time, oh no, this is not that one. Uh, oh, yeah, I just want to check the time to make sure that it is fast enough. But, I mean, n times k is 100 times 100 should be fast enough, but I, you know. Uh, but one thing that you can realize is that this is index plus 1, right? So, uh, on all these are index plus 1, so you can actually write it bottoms up. And then after you do bottoms up, you can do the space optimization. Uh, and I don't do that that often. Um, today, I will do that as a stretch go, and I'm, I'm going to do that now, uh, how I convert it, right? So then here... Let's, let's convert it to the 2D DP first, um, just for whatever, right? Um, okay, right. And then we have DP of n k is equal to 1, right? That's the base case. And then now we can go uh, index and range of n minus 1. Uh, is it n minus 1? Yeah, minus one to zero, and then for I don't know total in range of k plus one. Do I have to input? K? No, I don't have to input k. Yeah, and then here, uh, you know, we just go for all this stuff, right? And the way, the reason why I write it like this is that it's very similar to here, so you, that's why. But yeah, I can actually even write count zero zero uh, if like this is pretty much copy and paste except I'm typing out for some reason and you can write dp n plus one. Oh, sorry this is index plus one uh, and then uh, total plus nums of index right uh, and of course you have to remember the mod and then you could do the other thing and you could do it twice Remember to mod, and then dp of index total is equal to count, right? And that's pretty much it. That's how you would. Uh, that's how I do it. Uh, I mean, depending on the thing, of course. Sometimes I just write directly, but these days I, I don't know. I haven't practiced that much. Oops. Uh oh, this is small. Okay, okay. I like big K, but I'm inconsistent. Uh yeah. Oh no, that's wrong. What did I get wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh, I get one because it has to be k plus one. Yep. Because I forgot to input k. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's give it a submit. Yeah, and you can see this is accepted, right? And let's just check out the submission time real quick. Yeah, a little bit faster. I mean, you know. It's fine, uh, and this ooh, what happened? And this is the same complexity, of course. Um, let me actually keep this window open so I can do it again. But yeah, and here, as I said, you could notice that index plus one. You know, uh, we only really need the last one, right? So here we can actually uh, reduce this to two, say, and then this is the way that I do it. I know that there may be other ways to do it. But, but you know, this is the, you know, once you get more practice, you can write this in funky ways and it'll still be fine. Um, but this is the way that I like to teach it, just so, because it's like, it's very easy to do the, the, the shift, even though it may not be as clean as some other uh, space optimized code. But, uh, but yeah, as you can see now, uh, this is range two, right? So this is now O of K in t uh, space, right? So this is now O of N times K time still i mean you can't change that and all of k space so yeah and this is how you do space optimization i did it very quickly uh, i know that it's a little bit too fast perhaps but you can see that a lot of the structure of the code is just copy and paste and then i just kind of add mod 2 in all the indexes because all i know is that this is plus one um and because of this is plus one um 
you don't have to be as careful about the ordering on this part uh, except for that because it's plus one you know that plus one has to be ready by the time you process it so that's why I, I count backwards but yeah that's all I have for this one it's very it's kind of long and in depth but hope, hopefully you know even if you know how to solve it you know I gave you the the, um, the space optimized way and you get as you can see and I didn't really prepare to do the space optimized way to be honest uh, but you could see that you know I just did it in a couple of minutes so it's not too bad I mean of course it's very easy to make silly copy and paste that was but logistically it's not too bad if you have to do it uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one let me know what you think and yeah leave a comment and yeah you could watch me solve it live yeah, what did I just say? you could watch me solve it live during the contest next All right, not that bad. I uh, I forgot about that one. But, okay. I just thought people would be more. I thought that was pretty straightforward. Don't want people to accept it. Okay, we're we'll doing this one first, I guess. All right. Mod, 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 Where's power? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Seems like people already know this one though. I don't. Now it's a hundred. I solve it normally. DP, right? Okay, it's less than a okay, it's a hundred. Hmm. I guess some normal is just this answer, so it's two.
no, this is useless. Good. So See the dimension. Let's play around with it. I'm gonna miss things I mentioned though. in the subsequence. Larry, forget the mod. Don't forget the mod. Don't forget the mod. Don't forget the mod. I guess that's how people got it right so quickly. But still, don't forget the mod. Don't forget the mod. Sorry. <laughs> I did almost forget it though. I was about to submit. Okay. <laughs> I guess that wasn't that bad, but. Eh, silly mistake on that one, but uh, yeah, I don't know how I end up doing, but Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. Let me know what you think about this poem. Leave a comment I'll see you later and take care. Bye. Bye